Let me ask you about, and here's the question you, you get all the time. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Okay, now here's, uh, <laughs> here's someone. <laughs> we don't need those, we just no. chat. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Uh, I met her time. in 1949. You had a bit of a thing with her? I did, more than a bit. <laughs> In 1949, we met, and uh, we got connected and stayed together for about three, four months. Well, which back then was a long time for you, I guess. Well, it? It, listen, a minute is a long time if you, <laughs> if you do it right. <laughs> uh, but by the time you met again, making this movie, uh, she was in a different sort of place because she was, she was, was she, is it fair to say difficult to work with? Well, th th she had to acquiesce a lot in those early days. And she lost the pleasure of it. So she had to ambulate, if that's the word, between that and being who she was and working on it. It was difficult for her. But there was no other way you are going to do it. Yeah. And she had to learn how to behave with people. At that point, she was very isolated. And us going together like we did for the first time for me and the first time for her. We both found out what it was like to be with the opposite sex. When you were at that I first was 20, relationship? I was 21 then. And listen, there's a lot of people in this audience, anywhere you run, that have not had enough time with the opposite sex, getting to know them, them getting to know you. Yeah. And by the time we, we uh, met and was together, we had a perfect union. We were just so nice together. Amen. Then we started making movies. Uh, I was under contract already. She got a contract at 20th Century Fox, and they put her in movies. She started going out with all these guys. The next thing I know, she's very popular with most of the bachelors who got money in Las Vegas and in New York, which was all right. It broke my heart a little bit. Because I could see what a wonderful girl she was. And that changed but I her? knew that, she wouldn't last. That made her unhappy? That made her... Oh, it did, and that was part of her madness. That was part of her, her complete inability to act. You know, she had to fall on her knees too many times. And it just affected her. I'd run across her every now and then at a party. And her eyes were different. You know, when she died, you know, and, and too young, of course, she passed. Yes. Uh, there's been talk ever since about whether or not it was foul play with other people. Yeah, what, no, it what would your opinion be? She just knocked herself off because she couldn't take it anymore, you mm. know. And she was so popular, they turned it into a murder mystery. Mm. Who did it to her? The Kennedys, who? She was supposed to have had uh, affairs with all of these important men in America. I don't know how true that was. I don't think so. Marilyn was not uh, uh, usable, mm. you know? Uh, let's move on from that, but before we all do, right. let yeah. me ask you that one question, of course, which you've been asking me, because famously, at one time, you were asked what it was like to kiss Marilyn. Yeah. And your and response was... said, yeah, it's like uh, kissing Hitler. What do you want from me? And uh, <laughs> the next thing I know, it's a big Megillah. Megillah means big Megillah. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn was so sweet in that kissing sequence, she'd flop right on top of me. And when she felt I was paying attention... <laughs> She'd push away from me and smile. <laughs> no one's killed me smiling. <laughs> no, 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 that's all right. I loved every minute of it. Yeah. And uh, uh, this was the relationship, you know. This is what went on between us. Yeah. And uh, I had a couple of uh, explosions, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> I was very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And very lucky, I imagine. Yeah, lucky yeah. too. I mean, if you're going to explode, explode oh, with Monroe yeah, on top yeah, of you. Yeah, right. yeah. um, what a great movie as well, though. Yeah. And, there, and there's a film uh, which, you know, you, on paper might not necessarily have been the hit it was, but it's just it's genuinely a classic. And I watch it again and again. This girl coming by the wardrobe. Ori Kelly did the wardrobe yeah. for her. And uh, uh, he built these dresses that would see through with little patches here and there, and that was it. We were, uh, he was going to make dresses, but we wouldn't make them for us. <laughs> they were using uh, stuff out of Western costume. So I ended up in a Loretta Young outfit. Terrible. <laughs> we were never even alike. Uh, uh, and, then, uh, <laughs> and we did that. And then finally Billy Wilder said, have Ori Kelly make the dresses for you. And we had three dressing rooms. 
uh, Jack, me, and Marilyn. Yeah. And Jack came out for his measurements wearing uh, boxer shorts, and they measured him. When they finished with Jack, they came to me. I was wearing the equivalent of Calvin Klein's in those days. Yeah. And I stood there, and he measured 31, 29, 57, 18, 93, 4. And I said, thanks. He said, thank you, Tony. Then he went to Marilyn. Now, I only know this because he told me this is what happened with him and Marilyn. Marilyn came out in a pair of panties and a silk blouse with buttons. And she had three-inch heels. And uh, Ori Kelly measured her. And when he got to her bottom, she never said a word. Then he got to her bottom and he measured her and he looked up at Marilyn and said, you know... Tony has a better looking ass than you. <laughs> Great. Okay. One second. Yes. And she says, Oh, really? And she unbuttoned the blouse and opened it and said, He doesn't have tits like these. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you love it. The great story. And, you know, it happened. That's what I love about it. You played hard as well as worked hard. You were someone you've obviously enjoyed your life about well, as fully as one can. I certainly did. And some of the people you, uh, you hung out with, for us, once again, these are names that uh, it's difficult to imagine what it would like to be with these guys socially. You hung out on the Playboy Mansion on a regular basis. Yes. But also, you hung out with uh, the self-styled Rat Pack, with yes. Sinatra Frank and Sammy Davis and Jr. Sammy Davis and Jr., Dean Martin. Yeah. Incredible. What a time I had. How was uh, Sinatra? How was Sammy Davis Jr.? Because I love Frank, Sammy Davis Jr. Frank was a most intriguing man. He was hot and cold. Depending on some little look, some little incident would change his personality, and he'd want to be someone else for a while. And when he was, he was rough. Mm. And I don't say that with disparaging way. He got rough, you know, and tough. So he could be mean-spirited to people uh, as well as being At the kind. same time. He had a wonderful way of handling it all. Yeah. Tony, it's been so lovely having you on the show. It's such a Thank joy you. to meet you. Probably. And here's Tony's book, which I've been enjoying just about as much as I can. Tony Curtis, American Prince, my autobiography. Chock full of just fabulous photographs and as well. Photographs as well. Photographs and every story that you could possibly hope from, from a man who's I'm worked so with privileged I had everyone. a chance to uh, write whatever one happened when I was a kid. Right, and it kind of gives you an insight to what people are like and what pro provokes us. It's a lovely story, and also you're so honest in it as well. I mean, you talk about your shortcomings as well as your... I, uh, I do. Hmm. I'm that kind of a man. You know, uh... I you, want you... to call a fish a fish. <laughs> 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 you know, it's been so lovely having you here on the show. Uh, I'm sure, like me, you've just enjoyed just spending some time in the company of one of the greats. Tony, uh, a joy to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the books. Continue success with your painting, which I know is Thank a very you. important part of your life, and uh, with your beautiful wife. Uh, and your like beautiful wife. You found real happiness there. Mr. Tony Curtis, that is very Thank you. Thank you. Let me, let me assist you off. Tony Curtis, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks a lot. Tony Curtis. Hey, okay, Tony, I'll have you. Thanks a lot, Joe. Just step just down here. That's it. And now uh, here. Yeah, and onto there. And then hopefully. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. And there's the lovely Jill, ladies and gentlemen.